<laughs> hey guys, hello from Hong Kong Airport. Um, forgive me because I've been on a flight for 15 hours, so yeah, this is what I look like after a 15 hour flight, sleeping on the plane. Um, I wanna talk about the happiest time of my life because I feel like so many of my coaching clients get this uh, backwards wrong and I even if we already know this right so even if we already know this I feel like this is a vulnerability that we all have and so hey guys it's fun to see you all on there um, the happiest time of my life is when I didn't have anything so when I left Bali um, in 2014 I left on a six-month sabbatical from Bali and I went to Nepal and India and Thailand with a carry-on suitcase. All I had was a carry-on suitcase and inside my carry-on suitcase was even a memory foam pillow. So I had the fewest possessions ever and I was the most happy that I've ever been. And I was reminded of that feeling tonight or last night, whatever day it was. Uh, my flight was at 1.30 in the morning, Saturday night in San Francisco. And when I walked into the airport at like 11 p.m., I was reminded of that because I had, again, I'm leaving now for seven weeks and I have one carry-on suitcase. I'm kind of like, did I forget something? How do I have so little, right? There's minimalism, you know, less is more. And I walk in with just a little carry-on suitcase going away for seven weeks and I feel giddy. I walked in the airport and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited because experiences, is what makes me happy, not things. Things don't make me happy. And I got to see that when I gave away and sold all my stuff in 2014. So I wanna remind you of, um, you already know this, right? But what is your I'll be happy when? Like right now, what is your I'll be happy when? Is it when I get that job, that house, that relationship, that money, that whatever it is? So um, either put it in the comments, of, hey Tara, hey Terry, I'm in the Hong Kong airport. Whoa. <laughs> um, so write it in the comments or at least consciously think in your head, what is your I will be happy when? I've had so many of my clients say this to me. I'll be happy when I finally go on vacation. But if you can't be happy, this is the catch. If you cannot find happiness now, you won't find it then. So a client who did say that, she said, I'll be happy. I can't wait to go on my vacation, so I'll be happy. Then when she got on her vacation, she was frustrated with her husband and she was working the entire time. And I asked her how her vacation went. And no surprise, she wasn't happy then because it's about being happy now. Now, I'm not telling you something you don't know, but it is a reminder that we all get to have. It's, what is my I'll be happy when? What are you waiting for? What is it that in your mind, take a moment and think about this. Like really, even if you think you know this, go to beginner's mind for a second. Where, am, what am I waiting for in order for me to be happy? And then boom, like bust it up, blow it away. Oh, my voice is kind of funny. I slept on the plane. Actually, the flight was really good. I slept like seven or eight hours of the 15 hour flight and I read a book too, so it was, it was, it was pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, so like for me, my life has been so busy these past couple of weeks that I've been so in the moment. People have said, are you excited about Bali? I'm like, not really, because I'm really excited about today. Like I'm really excited about today. Like I'm having dinner with a friend tonight or I'm working on this project today. And so I think that it's so, so simple yet profound to get into what's actually happening right now. Hey Jamie, hey Phil, get into what's happening right now enjoy what's happening right now. It's great to look forward to things, but then we can get caught in that delusion of the human mind of that something in the future is gonna be better. But it's not, like it's not. So I wanted to remind you to, um, and because you like my website's richerexperiences.com, right? My whole thing is about having richer experiences. It's not stuff that makes us happy. It's not our things that make us happy. It's our experiences where we can actually feel happy. And sometimes stuff can make us happy. Like, you know, when I had a convertible, that, that was fun for a minute, you know? So, but it, the real thing is about, um, being happy with what you have and going from there. So um, it's so fun to see you guys on here and I will take you with me as I embark to Bali. But I just wanna, um, I just think it's so important to get, really, to get out of that mental trap that we all get in, which is I'm gonna be happy when, when I have this, when I do this, when I become this, instead of getting into what we have now, into the richness of this actual moment, into the only thing that we actually have. So instead of like, like having all this time just like flash past us, um, Hey, yeah, check out the airplanes behind me. <laughs> um, so guys, enjoy your Sunday if you're watching from California. I think it's Monday morning here in Hong Kong. And yeah, don't wait for happiness. And actually, you know, I'll say one more story before I jump off. When, when I really, really profoundly noticed this the most is when I woke up, it was in 2012, I woke up disabled. I woke up and my hand didn't work. And um, I was told by the doctor I needed to plan for a life without the internet that I was never gonna be able to be in my career again, a career that I spent six years going to undergrad and graduate school to have. And 
like my career was uncertain, my ability to use the internet was uncertain, so many things in my life were uncertain, and the only thing that I could think in order to cope with that experience besides my faith, right, my faith got stronger, was to find joy in the moment. There must be joy in the moment. There must be something in this moment that I can tether to that I can find joy, and I did a joy journal every night, and don't you know it, because I was writing down every day what, when I experienced joy, I, I had more joy. And so it really taught me to be a l more present-minded and try to notice the happiness in today and notice the joy in today and really be centered in, um, in that I don't need things to be happy. I don't need things to be happy. It's my mindset, my mind frame. So no matter what you have today, whether you are in a job that you're not satisfied with and you wish you were in a different job or whether you're in a relationship that's not working for you anymore or whatever's going on, it's all in your mind. It's all in your mind that you have the power to change it. You have the power to see it, um, to put the gratitude on it, to change your circumstances. So less is more, baby. Um, give minimalism a chance. <laughs> yeah, joy journal. Um, Okay guys, well I uh, have uh, maybe another hour at the airport here and then I am off. I can't believe I went live after sleeping on the plane. <laughs> I just miss you guys and I just think it's so important to know that we are the only ones who get, get to, are in control of our happiness. Like not only putting it in the future is a really a recipe for failure, but putting it in somebody else's hands. Like if this person just acted this way, then I'd be happy. It's a lie. It's a lie. You can be happy right now. You can be happy right now. <laughs> Namaste people, hope you're having a beautiful day. All right, write in the comments what it is that you are gonna let go of waiting for and own this moment. Own the power and the love and the life, the life that is in this moment. Have a beautiful day, bye.